Africa Center of Excellence in Coastal Resilience, ACECOR, is the image of the Center for Coastal Management, CCM, which was established in December 2013 in the School of Biological Sciences at the College of Agriculture and Natural Sciences, CANS, of the University of Cape Coast. The Center for Coastal Management was established in 2013 by colleagues within the Department of Fisheries and Aquatic Sciences. And at the time, we felt that the mandate of the department there was quite limited in scope and did not really offer the opportunity for coastal management extension. It was strictly on capacity building of undergraduate students and postgraduate students. And at the time, we felt that there was the need to have a coastal center that was dedicated to applied research for policy making. That was also dedicated to um, community extension work and also to focus on professional training. The center was established in response to a World Bank's call for higher education institutions in West and Central Africa to apply for selection to the Africa Centers of Excellence Impact 3 project in 2018. The center strives to uh, create a balance between um, coastal natural resource use and then also conservation. Uh, you know, in a part of the world where there's so much reliance on the ocean resources. There's the tendency that the resources get uh, depleted. And so given that there is a need to sustain the, 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 the relevance of our oceans through the resources that will be there for perpetuity, there was the need for us to establish this uh, center to address uh, that mission. ESCO is the first African center of excellence that the university has been able to establish. And so the university is keenly interested in ensuring that it becomes successful so that other um, centers of excellence will be established here. And so the university is helping them or helping the unit to be well established in terms of infrastructure. So we have um, given them a space to build their home place. Our research areas cover biodiversity, coastal and marine biodiversity assessment. We are also into blue economy governance and social resilience. We focus on coastal resources uh, management. We focus also on fisheries, which is central to this uh, process. We are also into uh, climate change uh, research, climate change adaptation mitigation research, and also into coastal governance and coastal re uh, management. So these are uh, the key areas that we look at. The mission of the ACE Corps is to become a center of excellence in coastal management, contributing to global efforts to safeguard healthy coastal ecosystems for sustained provision of goods and services. At ACE Corps, we have professional short courses. The minimum qualification is senior high school certificates. And also we have master of philosophy. The minimum qualification is bachelor's degree with second class lower division. With the doctor of philosophy, the minimum qualification is master of philosophy in a relevant area that is applicable in the ESCO thematic areas. In terms of the admission criteria, if you want to apply to ESCO, first you have to satisfy the University of Cape Coast admission criteria for postgraduate studies. And that one, ESCO also has added two elements to the search criteria. So that in order, if immediately you are qualified for the scholarship, you also get automatic admission into the University of Cape Coast. So it, it's like killing two birds with a stone. So on that, you are supposed to complete the ESCO scholarship application form. And also you are supposed to have your transcripts and certified copy of your academic certificate, the motivation letter. And also, you are supposed to have letters of recommendation, one of which it has to come from your former lecturer. And you should have a research proposal in your preferred area of study. When students enroll, they are not sent to the classroom first, but are taken to the field where they are oriented to appreciate 
the myriad of issues along the coast which informed their coursework. We started the application through an online process. So you submit documents and the documents that are required. So they made sure that they selected or shortlisted applicants based on what you have put out there and then your knowledge before we were shortlisted to come through for an interview. And then the interview was to make sure that we have a knowledge of what we are applying for and then we are ready for the task ahead. Yeah, so I would say it's been competitive but as well transparent. We have a broad range of partnerships spanning from local through regional to international partnerships. Uh, well, charity begins at home, so we partner with uh, the Department of Fisheries and Aquatic Sciences, which is a, a major uh, partner within the university. But then also uh, School of Economics, we partner also uh, with the Department of Environmental Science. We partner with the uh, Department of uh, Geography and Regional Planning. We partner with several other departments, population and health. We partner with the uh, Department of Chemistry and many more uh, within the university. We also partner with Sister University, University of Ghana, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, UDS, UNE. We have various partnership arrangements with all these institutions that are based on MOUs. Um, regionally, we partner with uh, Abome Kalavi University, University in Benin, uh, um, University of Calabar. Uh, and many more other regional universities in Senegal, uh, in Liberia, and other, and, and particularly also in the Gambia, we, are, we have collaborators. Internationally, we partner with Australia National Centre for Ocean Resources and Security. We also partner with University of Rhode Island in the US and some other uh, universities. In terms of um, industry partnerships, uh, we partner with ZEAL. Uh, on the project that we run with Danida. Uh, we partner with the hydrological services. Uh, industry also, we, we partner with um, some of the oil and gas uh, uh, companies when it comes to use and the uh, use of the coastal space, coastal marine space. The novelty of the center's pedagogical approach is the modular approach, which is made up of classroom work and laboratory and field work. We use the modular approach where we also adopt the problem-based learning. So we do coursework, which is made up of classroom work, laboratory, and field works. Okay, we have three laboratories. We have a general purpose one for general practical students. We have a special purpose one for um, improved research activities. We have a wet laboratory, and these are well uh, equipped laboratories. We had uh, laboratory equipment like GCC, we have autoclaves, we have film chambers, and many other uh, well um, um, laboratory equipment which are used for both student practicals and research activities. At ESCO, we provide accommodation for international students. We also do pickup from airports. And also for the international students, they receive stipend through their entire stay on the program. And also in connection with their non citizenship card and the resident permit. At ESCO, we process everything for them. We facilitate it and do the payment for the student without them paying anything. And also, we have a welfare system so that in case they have issues, they contact them and they assist them. In connection with the health facilities, yes, they have free medical health facilities when they come to ESCO. At ESCO, we provide full scholarship for students who study at the center. Talking about tuition, accommodation, research grants, conferences package, all are provided for the student to study at the center. So it's a full scholarship package for all students who study here. Currently our major project is the, the ASCO building complex. We've already um, gotten the design from the consultants. It's at the stage where we are just about signing the contract. And that project consists of um, a building complex which comprises big laboratories, uh, lecture theatres, and then some offices for staff and 
lecturers at the department. And once it's completed, we'll have enough space for a lot of activities, including teaching and learning, as far as the center is concerned. To the establishment of ISCO, in terms of Doctor of Philosophy, we have enrolled 30 students. In Master of Philosophy, we have enrolled 58 students. In that of Professional Short Courses, we have enrolled 176 students. My name is Charles Abimbola Fasheyi uh, from Nigeria, present currently a PhD candidate with the African Center of Excellence in Coastal Residence, Center for Coastal Management, University of Cape Coast, Ghana. My capacity has been improved, has been built with the short courses, with the way the program is being uh, framed or loaded, and uh, now I have skills in social sciences which I didn't have before so I think I'm having good uh, time being in Ghana with the Center for Coastal Management. In my work what I do mainly is that I schedule seminars for both continuing students at the MPhil level and the PhD level as well as for first years because during the first years they have to present proposals which is going to be assessed for the continuing students, because they are undertaking their research, there is the need for them to present to the audience so that if um, there are some challenges with their research, it could be corrected and uh, streamlined. Because we don't want a situation where a student has advanced in his, in his research only for the attention of faculty to be drawn to the fact that there are some fundamental errors. So the seminars are designed to give the student a platform to present findings or um, preliminary results of what um, the, the candidate is doing. So at the seminars, students are given maximum of 25 minutes and these are scored. The scoring is done by the, the faculty, normally the senior members or the lecturers um, at the department, as well as the candidate's supervisor. The, the supervisor can be um, at the university or out of the university. If the candidate, uh, if the supervisor is out of the university, we allow him to also send his um, score. I am researching on the effect of environmental factors on the nutritional quality of the West African mangrove oyster, Cassiopeia tulipa. We determine the fatty acid content of the oysters. I'm currently in the final stage of the extraction procedure. And then from this stage, I'll do a gas chromatography analysis of the oils extracted to identify the kind of fatty acids in the oils of the oysters. So this procedure is the last stage of extraction. Um, I've extracted the oils in hexane and I added saturated sodium chloride to the oil. So this saturated sodium chloride will take away the moisture or the water, the water content in the oil. And then after adding the sodium, saturated sodium chloride, I will centrifuge it to separate the oils from the moisture or other polar components in this tube. Okay, so this is our centrifuge. I uh, will be centrifuging this for five minutes at 4,000 RPM. Okay, so we are done with the centrifugation and as you can see, the centrifugation has separated the solution into two phases. Now the upper layer is the layer that contains the oil, and the layer below contains uh, the saturated sodium chloride with other polar compounds that are not needed for our GC analysis. So from here, we are going to pick one ml of the oil in the top layer and then 
use it for the fatty acid analysis. Major source of funding is through grants. We, we, lo we love to write proposals and compete for grants. In fact, our success rate currently is at 31%, which means that for every 10 proposals, we win about, about three. And we are constantly writing and constantly waiting for uh, feedback. Um, and so, in relation to that, we are also mindful that there are other opportunities we could tap into in terms of sustainability of the centre. We are looking at consultancies, we are also looking at commercializing some of our activities, for instance, the drone program. We have an unmanned area vehicle program. We have about three certified UAV pilots, drone pilots, certified by the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority. And so we do a, a number of jobs for private sector, the university folks, and even support our students' research. So um, in line of that, these are currently the major sources of funding. There are several reasons to train at the Africa Center of Excellence in Coastal Resilience at the University of Cape Coast. You are assured of smart delivery, quality higher education and production of taught leadership. This is the ACE Core, a global game changer in Coastal Resilience. <laughs>